Switcher House Remix. I'm kind of upset, man. I'm upset. I'm hurt. My favorite bracelet snapped. It broke. Look at that. And it's like my it's like my third bracelet that that broke man and this and this is pretty much my favorite this this is my favorite bracelet man That's too wrong, but yup yeah, of course you lie sit there and organize try to be more than just hoes um thinking you sort of tight cause someone wrote you lines thinking you whores have got flow <laughs> no you can record the lies Let me oh, what's going on guys lockout man on the 30 yes made it back to Ohio but unfortunately I'm not going to make it to uh make it to my delivery so I got on the phone chopped it up and I'm just going to go ahead and drop it at the at the yard so I got a chance I'm not going to make it to the yard with the time I got so I'm on the 30 doing this vlog right quick talking to you guys I don't like down talking companies I really don't you know what I'm saying what I do is give drivers information on the companies that may or may not be in, be of an interest to them so I found two things one is company related and the other one I'm not sure what part of relationship this is but let me get into it so I found this on Facebook. Both of them I found on Facebook. The first one is a valet for truckers that needs to back up into a dock at this company. I'm not sure where this company is at or, or what dock it is, but I found that it was funny that they was charging $25 to back up into a dock for you now i'm thinking to myself i'm like hey is this 25 dollars to be spotted because if that's the case you could save your money and i could get a nice driver to help me back up into a dock you know why waste the money for that or is this 25 dollars for somebody to actually get up in your truck and back up into a dock now you don't even know if that brother has uh what do you call it his cdl you don't even know if he has that you don't even know if he's experienced enough to back up into a dock <laughs> you know what i'm saying maybe maybe the yard guys or is it 25 dollars to disconnect from the trailer and then they'll hook up and back it up into a dock now if it's the latter then that's cool i like that because some places whoo only only either a day cab or a yard dog could get in it now if it's 25 dollars for that then yeah i'll pay i'll pay you for that but if it's $25 just to be spotted, then no, bro. No! No, no. I, I just had to get out and look 15, 20 times to get it right in there. No, bro. No. You know, you can videotape me all you want, but... I'm not giving you $25 just to spot me. And if it's $25 to for you to get up in my truck, no, bro, no. no. Not going to do that either because if you back into something and tear it up, whose responsibility is going to be? It's going to be mine. And it's going to be twofold because... I'm not supposed to let somebody drive the truck. Think about that. Think about that. But think about, think about this. 
there's a lot of you drivers out there that really don't <laughs> let me let me rephrase it there's a lot of you drivers out there that really came back Now, don't get me wrong. Backing is the challenge. Is the challenge every day, all day, all the time. Because you'll get up in these situations at a shipper, receiver, truck stop, whatever. And you just going to eventually won't be able to do it. I get it. I've been there. I'm still there. I don't like blindside backing. All right. But. If you if you gotta pay for somebody to back up your truck, honestly, I really don't think you need to be in the business, bro. You know, you need a little bit more training if that's the case. But I understand the hustle. I'm I'm a hustler. You know what I'm saying? I understand the hustle. I see the hustle. I even like the hustle. If there's if there's a hustle out there that needs to be hustled, I'm your guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm the guy. But I'm just saying $25 just to spot a truck to back up into a dock. Save your money, people. Save your money, drivers. You can get another driver to help you, spot you. There's some nice drivers out of, out here. Not all of us is assholes. Yo, so here's the next topic, y'all. The next topic. I, I know you guys been been wanting to get into companies and stuff like that. And you new jacks out there want to get into these companies. But, but check this out, though. Check this out. So I came across this Facebook page or this Facebook uh, situation. No, nah, it's not a situation. It's not a situation. But I came across this uh, this little snippet for U.S. Express. Now, don't get me wrong. Lockout makes the call. I don't I don't down talk any company in what they decide to do with their trucks. I just want to just get the information out there to you guys so that you can make a better decision about getting into a company that does these things with their trucks. You you may not understand or you may not even know that getting into these companies, you know, they have their trucks governed at a certain speed. What do governing mean? Well, at first, I didn't even know what governing mean. I, I thought when they say governor, I'm thinking they talking about a governor of a state or some shit like that. But governor is is the amount of speed that you can go on a truck. Some trucks are governed at 65, which is which is which is the norm. 65 is the norm because 65 is the speed limit. But some trucks are governed at 62. Some is governed at 60. Others governed at damn near 55. And I don't understand why it's governed at 55. Other trucks like mine for example is governed at 70. So I'm open I'm open to 70 miles per hour. Now a lot of people, including myself, says when the trucks is governed at 65, 60 and below, it's going to mess up. It's going to mess up the time that you're going to need to get there. Shorter the speed, the less time you're going to get there. So let's say you got to be at at a certain place at a certain time. Well, you're not going to get there on time because you figure, let's say it takes 60, it's 60 miles to get to where you got to go. And you're doing 55. Well, you're not going to get there within that time. You're probably going to get there in less time than what you anticipate. Having an open truck or a governed truck at, at the speed limit, like 70, 70, down in Texas, I believe it's 75. Uh, and I believe in some parts it's 80. I, I haven't drove for a company that has opened it up to 80. U.S. Express was the first one. Then they were 65, and J&R Shrugel, they're 65, 
and the company I'm with now is opened up to 70, 70 to 75. But this is what U.S. Express did. You know, if you guys decide to go with U.S. Express, you're going to want to know that they changed the speed of their trucks right here. So they changed, this, they changed the speeds of the truck because they call it safety, you know, for safety reasons. Now, I understand a lot of companies, they, they do things in the name of safety. Now, I mm, is on a fence about that. You know, you can you can do things in the in the things you can do things in the name of safety, but it's always falls on the driver to make sure that he drives he or she drives that truck safely. The truck can't do it by itself. You can put all the bells and whistles in there. You can put the you can put the electronic lane departures in there. You can put the the adapted brake. You can put all that stuff in there. But if if the driver is not safe or not doing things safe, then all that stuff that you put in the truck don't mean nothing. You could put, you know, maybe a driver could like maybe a driver could be distracted with something and you know go off in the other lane and the lane departure catch it and makes that loud dingy noise and all like that it could make that loud noise but the driver could already be in the other lane causing the accident i'm just saying you know you got the adaptive brake now J and R Schrugel had that and oh that was that was awful you can't be in a certain distance of a car or of another vehicle and if it comes within that distance it will hard break literally it would it will hard break the truck is that safe i'm just saying and you and sometimes you couldn't even sometimes it catches it before you even get into that into that distance you know what i'm saying so is that safe i don't know but U.S. Express says that they changed the governing speed to their trucks because of safety. In our ongoing effort to keep everyone safer, we're making two changes to our truck. Settings for company drivers that take advantage of the technology designed to assist you. We're slowing down for everyone's safety and changing our max speed to 66 on the cruise and 62 on the pedal now if you're on the cruise if you're on the cruise that's fine you know you're going 66 miles per hour on the cruise but you might not you, you might not be able to use cruise all the time but if you're on the pedal you're only going 62 so let's say you let's say somebody in the slow lane going slower than you <laughs> and you want to and you want to go around them so you mean to tell me i gotta hit cruise to get up to speed so I can get around the truck that's doing maybe 60 or something like that. You know, I got to get over in the fast lane, get over, and then get back over in the right lane and keep going. Is that safe? Is that safe? See, they saying, they saying that they doing this in the name of safety, but is it really safe though? Down here at the bottom, there's a lot, there's a lot more, but you know, they got this right here. We're, in, we're implementing creep mode truck moves slightly when foot removed from the brake throughout the entire fleet what the hell is creep mode and have you ever heard of that so what you're saying is if i move if i take my foot off the brake the truck is going to move slightly but when you take your foot off the brake anyway ain't the truck going to move slightly anyway especially if you're in the manual you know what i'm saying Especially if you got it in, you know, you take your, you engage the truck once you release the clutch. The truck is going to move. Creep mode. What the hell is creep mode? But in any case, though, in any case, I, um, <laughs> I just think that this is just, it's, it's, it's not fair to the drivers that been there before that are safe. And you're going to cut their speed in half. It's already bad enough that when we get into heavy traffic and stuff like that and we got and we got deadlines to meet, 
you know, you you saying, okay, well, we're going to cut, we're going to cut your speed, we're going to take uh, two miles off your speed. You know, you're just going to have to get it there when you need to get it there. You're going to have to get up earlier instead of early. You're going to have to get up earlier. You know what I'm saying? And it's just crazy that they they doing all this in the name of safety. So for you new jacks out there, when y'all come into the game, just know that when y'all go to U.S. Express, your trucks ain't going to go no faster than 62 miles per hour on the on the pedal. Now, if you're a cruiser like me, you know, you set the cruise, then, yeah, you're good to go. But let's say somebody cut you off. That's going to cut that, uh, that's going to cut that dramatically. Because it takes time for your truck to get up to speed. I'm just saying. But uh, before I get off here, I just want to read one of the, I want to read one of the uh, comments that, uh, that this gentleman said. This has nothing to do with safety at all. All it has to do is with saving money by putting more stress and longer days on your drivers. You have even you have have you ever driven one of these trucks up a mountain with more than 15,000 in the box? It's horrible. So, nah. You're you're going to make it even worse because a whole lot of more stress in the driving for your drivers which is a safety factor which is a safety factor well i plan on staying with us express but the chain but this changes everything thanks for putting more stress on your drivers and he's right he's right it is going to put more stress on the drivers have you ever went up a mountain or or a eight percent grade with 40,000 in the box, it's already crazy, especially in the automatic. And it, it droggles the truck down to like 25, 20, just to, just to put, put up that hill, man. But he's right, it is gonna put more stress, it's gonna put more time, it's gonna put more, more fatigue on the driver just trying to get that load there on time. Think about it, think about it. That is one of the questions that you should always ask when you're vetting these companies. How fast do the truck go? Or what's the maximum speed of the truck? Or what's the truck governing that? Make sure you ask those questions before you before you just jump into the uh into the job. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yo, if you guys like these videos and more, man, don't forget to like, subscribe comment share and hit that bell for more videos like this man yo this is lockout man and i'm on to 30 right now finishing up i really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me and all like that don't forget the coffee don't forget the coffee i'm about to run over here to this burger king grab me something to drink and i'm about to be out i got what a couple of more minutes yeah i got a couple of more minutes before I can get up out of here. So, yo, don't forget to make your suggestions for who you want me to call next, and I'll come to you guys in another video. Peace.